Welcome to our lecture online. To get a better appreciation for Green's theorem, let's take the problem that we looked at in the previous video and actually do the line integral, which means we're going to have to integrate over the three portions of that line as it goes from 0, 0 to 1, 0 to 0, 1, back to 0, 0. Now the equations for the three lines, on the first one we realize that y equals 0, so dy equals 0, and we can use a parametric equation where x equals t, therefore dx equals dt. On the second line, we have the equation that y equals 1 minus x, therefore dy equals minus dx, and again, we can translate that to the parametric equations where x equals t and dx equals dt. And for the third equation, we can see that x equals 0 and dx equals 0. So now let's go ahead and integrate over the three portions of the line integral. So let's do the integral over the first curve from 0, 0 to 1, 0. And the uh, limits of integration are going to be from x equals 0 to x equals 1, but since x equals t, that will be from t equals 0 to t equals 1. x becomes t, so t to the fourth dt, because dx is dt. And since y is equal to 0, we don't have the second part of the integral. So all we have to do is integrate this. So this becomes equal to t to the fifth over 5, evaluated from 0 to 1, which is equal to, well, when we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, we get 1 fifth. Remember, the answer we got from the previous video was 1 sixth when we used Green's theorem. All right, now let's do the second part. In the second part, we're going to integrate from 1, 0 to 0, 1. And here we have x is going to be equal to t, so let's plug that in here. So we have the integral. Uh, that would be from, well, let's see here, t from t equal to 0, no, from t equal to 1 to t equal to 0. So our limits are going to be from 1 to 0, t to the fourth, dt, and now here we have x times y, so that would be plus x, which becomes t, and y is going to be 1 minus x, but since x equals t, that will be 1 minus t and dy is going to be a minus dt. That would be a minus dt, so let me put a dt there and turn this into a minus because dy equals a minus dx, and so dy will be a minus dt. So making that a little bit cleaner, so this becomes equal to the integral from 1 to 0 of t to the fourth, minus t times a minus t would be plus t squared, and minus t times dt, and that one is relatively easy to integrate, so let's go ahead and do that. This is equal to t to the fifth over 5 plus t cubed over 3 and minus t squared over 2, and the whole thing evaluated from 1 to 0, which is equal to, when plug in the upper limit, we get nothing. When we plug in the lower limit, we get minus 1 fifth minus one-third, and plus one-half. The common denominator here, let's see here, that's 15, that would be 30. So this would be equal to minus 6 over 30. And this here would be minus 10 over 30, and plus 15 over 30, and that would be a minus 1 over 30. All right, so we have one-fifth for the first integral. We have minus one-thirtieth for the second integral. Now let's do the third integral. The third integral would be the integral from, now we're going to do this path right here, and notice in this case, x is equal to zero. But since we have an x here and we have an x there, both of these terms go to zero, so this would be an integral of zero plus zero, and therefore, that must be equal to zero. So what we, knew, what we know now is that the line integral along the complete closed pad will be the sum of these two. So that means the integral here is going to be equal to 1 fifth minus 1 thirtieth. Common denominator is 30, so it would be 6 thirtieth minus, let's see here, that would be 6 thirtieth minus 1 minus 1 thirtieth, which is 5 
thirtieth, which is equal to one over six. And notice we get the very same result that we got on the previous video using Green's theorem. So there you can see that it actually does work. Notice that doing the line integrals typically is a lot more work than doing the equivalent Green's theorem methodology. So there you go. That's how we find the equivalent result using Green's theorem on the previous video and actually doing the line integrals here. That's what we mean by is sometimes, quite often actually, a lot easier using Green's theorem to solve these types of line integrals. And that's how it's done.